I'm working on a 2010 Audi A3. A customer's complaint is the engine is making a funny noise and running kind of rough. This is something you see all the time. It's um, you can hear it's a very very high pitch screeching noise, like a kind of a whistle. It's the uh, the oil separator diaphragm. Volkswagen and Audi they call it an oil separator. It's a PCV valve. It just controls the vacuum to the crankcase. It just allows the uh, crankcase to have a light vacuum on it, just using suction from the um, intake manifold. When the diaphragm tears, it it loads full intake vacuum into your crankcase and damages your rear main seal. That's that's the big rear main seal is a bad design, but the um, this makes it this actually this is what causes it to be sucked off the plate in the back of the engine and actually fail completely. Um, other than the whistling, this one's very apparent. Sometimes they they won't really whistle, and you'll have mixture-related faults. It'll say air leak and intake system. That'll be another fault that'll be stored. And what you'll do is, with the car running, you'll take your oil cap and lift lift it up. Try to take it off the engine. It should be very light vacuum here. It shouldn't be very difficult. This one, this one's very hard way too much effort that means that there's excessive amount of vacuum in the crankcase there shouldn't be much at all um, this is a more obvious case being that it's whistling and you know when you pull this it actually stops whistling because it because it allows the uh, the diaphragm to relax so that's it very very simple job to replace you pull those two coils off and then there's a bunch of t30 torque screws around the perimeter of that assembly. It's a very straightforward job. Um, you can you can also buy repair kits. It's I don't advise. I don't think that's the best way to do it, but a lot of times if you're, you know, in a pinch for money and you need to do something, you can buy just this repair kit and unclip it here and replace the diaphragm. Sometimes that'll get you by. They're they're cheap. You can find them everywhere. But um to a customer being that we have to warranty the repair, we have replaced the entire oil separator assembly. That's what I would recommend. But, all right, thank you.